Hello, adventurers of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 55th episode of our Feet series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a racial exclusive found in the Elemental Evil Player's Companion. Super great book. You can download it online. Highly recommend giving it a read through. There's some great spells in there as well that are certainly worth taking a look at. That being said, today we're going to be taking a look at Smurfleblin Magic. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think I am, but um, in any case, super great stuff. Uh, as for mentioned, found in the Elemental Evil's Player's Companion. And with that out of the way, let's take a look at the description. First and foremost, there is a prerequisite for this, and that is that you have to be a Deep Gnome. They are a really great one to pick. Honestly, I'm playing one right now. I thoroughly enjoy them. Um, just, just, just great to take a look at. In any case, the feat reads as followed. You have inherited the innate spellcasting ability of your ancestors. This ability allows you to cast non-detection on yourself at will without needing any material components. You can also cast each of the following spells once with this ability. Uh, blindness, Deafness, Blur, and Disguise Self. You are gaining the ability to cast these spells when you finish a long rest. Intelligence is your spellcasting ability for these spells, and you can cast them at their lowest possible level. Really, really great stuff. Honestly, I kind of like this one in certain builds. I'll get into that a little bit more later. That being said, let's take a look at the walkthrough. So just to break it down real swift here, at will, you can cast non-detection, which essentially allows you to stay better hidden from divination magic which is really cool stuff especially if your campaign involves you um, kind of being tracked down by various um, magic users or high level magic users or being monitored by a, a cult or a church or something of that nature um, blur or blindness slash deafness rather fairly self-explanatory um, you can either blind them or deafen them doing one of each has various effects but they're pretty self-explanatory um, good old Blur imposes disadvantage on attack rolls against you, which is really, really cool stuff there. And Disguise Self allows you to change your shape, or your appearance rather. You still have to remain humanoid, but you can kind of do whatever else in addition to that. So, you know, pretty good stuff. And Intelligence is your spellcasting ability modifier. None of these really need a modifier, but just in case, I guess. I mean, I guess Disguise Self technically does. So, um, in any case, let's get to my personal thoughts on it. I really think this is good for classes that don't inherently get spellcasting. So, uh, some of the fighter archetypes, as well as, or subclasses rather, uh, as well as some of the barbarians could really benefit from this. Um, there's a monk subclass that basically does all this already, so monks don't really gain too much from it. Uh, and any full caster has most of these spells already. So I'd probably say, yeah, uh, Fighter or uh, Barbarian. Barbarian would probably gain the most from this, in all honesty. A lot of these are super useful for them, and they're not, and they're not concentration. So that is some pretty nice stuff there. Um, actually, uh, sorry, I totally forgot. Blur is a concentration spell, so maybe Barbarian might not be the best choice circumstantially. But... I, I really do like it regardless. I think it's a great, great feat to take. It really just adds some more depth to your character. In any case, if you have any uses for it or any uh, fantastic stories or comments, please comment down below. I really appreciate reading them, and I know everyone else does as well. That being said, have a great day, and as always, happy adventuring.